have you ever heard the phrase, God shine his face on us? It's a familiar blessing used in churches at the end of worship. But what does it mean? This phrase is actually found first in number six. God tells Moses to tell Aaron to bless the people with this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. This has been repeated for centuries. It is important. In fact, in 1979, archaeologists were digging in a tomb near Jerusalem and they found two silver scrolls. When they unrolled the scrolls, they found this blessing from Numbers. So what does it mean? Well, I was actually reading in Psalm 67 when I found this blessing repeated. God be gracious to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples with uprightness and guide the nations on the earth. So first of all, like all Psalms, it uses metaphors. And this metaphor is about the sun compared to God. God does not literally shine on us, but it reminds us that God is like the sun in some ways. And who doesn't like the sun shining on us at the end of winter, filling us with warmth and energy? This psalm names other blessings, and I decided to go to my Bible and make a list numbering the blessings. In verse 2, the blessing is God's ways will be made known. His salvation or saving power is shown to the nations. And in verse 4, the nations are glad and sing for joy. Also, God judges righteously or with equity. God guides the nations. And verse 6 talks about the fruitfulness of the earth. So we can connect God's face shining with blessings, but we can go deeper than that. If you take time to think and ponder on these things, you will see that this blessing is on multiple levels. There's a physical level, a mental, a spiritual, and an emotional level of blessings. Metaphors always compare one thing with another. So we can ask the question, how is God like the sun? So we look at the sun and say, well, the whole earth sees the sun and the whole earth is blessed by the sun. There's no life without the sun and there's no light without the sun. All of the earth depends on the sun. It's no wonder the ancient people used to worship the sun. So we can see how this implies that God's presence is also everywhere. And God is a God of blessing on the earth to everyone in some sense. We're looking for God's presence and we can experience his loving presence like surrounding us as a father with his children. The word shine means to shed light or illuminate. And spiritually, God gives us light or insights into the way we ought to live. Psalm 67 uses the word salvation. This could be a physical salvation, protection, a mental protection, an emotional protection. It's like, what do you need? God is the answer. And this YouTube channel is called Rx for Joy. So whenever I see the word joy, I take special attention. Verse 4 connects the people's joy with God being the judge, a righteous judge, a judge with equity. And oh, I'm sure all of you can 
agree with me that we really do want justice. Verse 6 talks about the earth and its produce, and we can say yes. Just like in the prayer of Jesus, we can say, God give us our daily bread. We also need to ask, how is God different than the sun? Well, the verse says, may God cause his face to shine on you. And it implies that God doesn't shine his face the same way on all people. In fact, God warned the people of Israel that he would not shine his blessings on them as a nation if they did evil. Well, this is just a short devotion, but how can we apply these ideas to us today? Well, obviously, we can pray this prayer, this prayer for blessings. And as we look at the whole scripture and its message, we know that Jesus is the salvation. We know that he will come again and be the perfect judge on earth. We know that God desires to guide his children. And we know that we have been told to ask for all that we need from God. But let's end with verse 7 of Psalm 67. God blesses us that all the ends of the earth may fear him. The world is watching us as Christians. His blessings and the way we respond to them can direct other people to God. So we can ask ourselves, how are our lives pointing others to God? And the key is in this psalm as well. Four times is repeated this phrase, let the peoples praise you, O God. Our lives should be one of praising, thanking, worshiping God. My arts for joy, ask for God to shine upon you today and praise him and reflect his light and love on others.